I went to Vietnam with my family, whole family, a family trip. And I came to Hanoi. And the funny thing is my whole parents, parents, sisters, they don't like it. Except my little sister. But they were like, they don't like it. Because it was like same as today, like really misty and raining. It was in December. And they say, oh, the weather is so bad in Vietnam, blah, blah. But me, I love it. I don't know. I was like, oh, I found it so mysterious. And I was like, oh, I really love Hanoi. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I feel like the Vietnamese culture is still not so um, well known outside of Vietnam. And I think it needs to be known better. When it's growing and Vietnam is the place to be for this. But today there will be no one. So I'm it's been seven minutes. Now I'm done. Thanks to this guy. I really love it because I, I have so many ideas. So I can put all my ideas on videos uh, on TikTok. And yeah, I start like that TikTok and do everything with my phone. The great things uh, as a content creator and a TikToker is like I have so many opportunities. So I got the chance to go to so many places and discover so many things. I never thought I can do. We always need to find new videos and new way to present uh, the content. And that's the biggest challenge for every content creator. Vietnam, by you Vietnam, it's the freedom. Basically now my audience is so much Vietnamese. But I want to reach uh, the Western audience more. So like right now, I'm gonna go back to France. I'm gonna do video in France too, where I ask, for example, to French people, what do they think about Vietnam? 